How's it going everyone? And quickly, if you like that video, press the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind. Today we're talking about the Ryzen 5 5600X and why you should consider getting it since it's one of the best budget gaming CPUs right now. So let's not waste a lot of time and we'll get to it. The Ryzen 5 5600X is one of my favorite CPUs of all, uh, well the recent time, <laughs> let's just say that. It's a 6 core 12 threaded CPU on Amazon right now, it's for 272 bucks. It's based on the AMD AM4 platform form and one of the biggest advantages is that these uh, the boards that are compatible with this cpu are pretty cheap but also the cpu itself you don't have a lot of upgrade ability options uh, once you upgrade from that cpu because the m4 platform this ryzen 5th gen series is the last series that will be you know launched on this m4 platform so the next gen ryzen 6 gen cpus or 6000 series will be on their own uh, new platform maybe around um, am5 can run any game at 1080p 240 frames per second you can even start streaming with it because it's got a six cores and 12 threaded cpu and it's like the core itself the single core performance or the ipc is pretty high compared to intel's now this is in terms of the housekeeping the specs and you can also overclock it and get more performance out of it but next to that the boards that are compatible with you can i go all the way from the b450m to an a520m or b550m x570 but in my case i think the best board combo to go with it is either a b450m ds3h which is a board for like 60 to 65 dollars on amazon right now since it's like the last gen series on this board you don't have to spend a lot of money on the board itself since it's the last gen cpu on this platform or you can go with the a520 amp since I, I i mean this cpu will work just fine on these budget boards so you're paying in total like 272 dollars and another 70 dollars on the board which makes it like 350 bucks so yeah 350 bucks for a board and a cpu combo that's actually high end and competing with the highest end cpus on the market right now and also it's come it comes with its own cooler so you don't have to pay a lot of money on a cooler because it's there with it so it's a really good bundle for 350 bucks in my opinion now when you compare to the competitors i mean the only reasonable competitor that i can find to the cpu is the i5 10400 and well the i5 10400 is not like performing on par with it but i think is it's cheap we're looking at 100 dollars difference between this 10400f and the cpu but the thing is it doesn't perform the same so it's not an actual competition rather than better value for money but when you compare it to something like for the same price an i5 11600k oh you're paying a lot of money and you don't get a cpu cooler with it and you also don't get the same performance i mean at a lot of cases the 5600x is actually performing better and when we get to the performance we're looking at actually like this is where amd really stepped up their game the fps intensive games like csgo fortnite valorant for the first time ever i guess i've ever seen before the Ryzen CPUs are actually faster than Intel CPUs. I mean the 5600X, 5800X they pull up numbers and Intel 11900K doesn't which is crazy to me and a very budget option or very budget price or high-end budget price that's why i like this cpu this is pretty flexible you can put it on a budget pc and it will deliver you can put it on a high-end pc and it will deliver and also when you compare this cpu to something like an 11900k at the gpu intensive uh games not the fps intensive games i mean again the fps intensive games it beats it compared to something like an 11900k i'll leave the benchmark down below we don't look at a lot of difference we're looking at like seven frames per second at 1080p ultra settings i mean who plays at 1080p ultra settings with a gpu like an rtx 380 let's be honest maybe it's a really demanding game but there are a lot of technologies right now that allows you to play on high resolution and get better frame rates so yeah this cpu is really promising in my opinion and that's why i really like it now the best and as i told you the 5600x is a really flexible cpu if you paired it with a budget gpu you're gonna get a lot of it, like results in the fps intensive games if you paired it with a high-end gpu you're gonna get some really great results in the gpu intensive games and you'll not get, be bottlenecked like most of the time you'll not be bottlenecked if you play that 1080p the highest settings now what's the best gpu to pair with it right now the thing is if you could get a gpu at msrp like uh, an msrp is only like it's not a real real price nowadays i don't know but maybe an rtx 3080 3080 ti will be just fine with this cpu i mean it only sounds <laughs> crazy until the next gen nvidia gpu drops and there's like a 4070 that performs like a 3080 ti and they're like okay let's pair it with a 5600x but yeah look at the picture now you can pair an RTX 3060 Ti, 3080 Ti, sorry, with this GPU and a 3060 Ti too, you know. 
But yeah, in my opinion, the best uh, GPU to pair with it. Um, really, whatever you can find at MSRP, if you're looking for high-end GPUs, if you're looking for low-end GPUs, you got a GTX 1060. I really like that one, an RX 570. That's what I'm pairing it with, actually, uh, myself. You got a GTX 960 if you're going really budget and waiting for the GPU market to stabilize again. Or an RX 460, and I have that too. And you just wait to see the benchmarks. So, yeah, I guess uh, we took a quick dive on this CPU and uh, that's been it if you like the video person that like button if you want to see more videos of that kind subscribe i'll see you in the next one of course and stay tuned for a lot of videos with this CPU peace